Hello everyone. In this session, we will talk about installation of IBM Security QRadar Community Edition. IBM QRadar SIEM is one of the market leading SIEM solution used in multiple organizations. It is one of the core SIEM solution deployed in security operation centers. Getting hands on such SIEM solution was very difficult earlier. However, with IBM Security QRadar Community Edition, we can install it on local network without any cost of license and there is no need of big infrastructure. By installing IBM Security QRadar Community Edition, you can have hands-on experience on IBM QRadar. You can also monitor your home network. IBM Security QRadar Community Edition is fully featured free version of IBM QRadar. It is of low resources, low EPS and includes perpetual license. This version is limited to process 50 events per second and 5000 network flows per minute. Currently, the only available version of IBM Security QRadar Community Edition is 7.3.3. Those who are looking for later version can click on this link and here you can vote for version 7.5 or later. To download QRadar Community Edition version 7.3.3, you need to click on this link. Once you click on this link, it will take you to this page where you can use your IBM ID login. If you don't have IBM ID, you can fill all this information and create IBM ID. Once you register and log in, it will take you to download link. Here is the download link where you have OVA file available for download. This OVA file is of 4.1 GB and I have it downloaded already on my system. The integrity of downloadable file can be compared with Shasam available on this link. From this link, you can access IBM official documentation for installing and configuring IBM QRadar Community Edition. Here we have the comparison of QRadar capabilities between QRadar SIEM Enterprise Edition and QRadar Community Edition. There are some capabilities which are not available on IBM QRadar Community Edition. If you are looking for those capabilities, you need to install IBM QRadar SIEM Enterprise Edition. These are the instructions we are going to follow while installing IBM QRadar Community Edition. As you go through the system requirement, we have minimum memory requirement is 8 GB. You can give 10 GB of memory if you are planning to use Xforce test or install applications. Minimum disk space required is 250 GB. Minimum number of CPU cores required are 2. But if you are looking for optimal performance, you need to give 6 CPU or more. We also need to have an adapter connected to virtual machine which has an internet access. If you are using locally hosted virtual machine, you need to have some port forwarding done, which is explained in this instruction. We will do the same while installing QRDAR Community Edition. Now let's go ahead and import the OVA file. Here is the downloaded OVA file. Let's open it in virtual box. It will take some time to import, so click on import first and wait for it to come. Now the import has been completed. Let's modify the setting as per system requirement. Let's make the change in RAM to 8192. Processor R2, which is okay. The disk space required is 250 GB, which is also good. On the networking section, we are going to use NAT setting. So NAT is a virtual networking, which we can assign to network adapter on virtual box. For more details, you can access virtual networking documentation for virtual box. Let's go and check the advanced menu and select port forwarding for the forwarding which I have configured between our local host to guest IP. This configuration is also mentioned in our IBM official document. So let's go ahead and click OK. Now let's power on the VPN. Now it's booting. So let's select the first menu. 
uh, as soon as it boots, it is going to ask for us to learn. We are going to use root and it is going to ask for change password. So we will change the password. So let's do that. First thing we are going to check is check the IP address assigned. Now we could see the IP address assigned is 10.0.2.15 slash 24, but this is a DHCP address and you could see the host name is localhost. We are going to change these two things by using an empty UI utility. Let's edit a connection. Click edit, change profile name to ENP. 0s17 change ipv4 configuration to manual ipv6 configuration to ignore let's add the ipv4 configuration ip address is going to be 10.0.2.100 slash 24 gateway is going to be 10.0.2.2 dns server we are going to add is 9.9.9.9 .9 .9 .9. Now let's go ahead and click OK. Back. Now let's set the host name. We are going to set it to give it RCE dot IBM security community dot com. Click OK. And next thing we are going to do is restart the connection. So first deactivate it. Now activate it. Go back. Wait. First, let's check the IP address. Now the IP address is set to 10.0.2.100. Let's open new bash connection to see the host name. Yeah, we could see the host name is changed to kiro.ce. We can also host name command. Now the host name is kiro.ce.ibmsecurity.com. Let's SSH to this virtual box from command line. The SSH command which we are going to use is SSH root at the rate 127.0.0.1 on port 2222. Let's check the setup file by using ls-l command. Let's run the setup dot slash setup. Let's accept the Linux EULA. This is the end user agreement. You can go scroll through it or hit Q and enter to accept. Yes to continue. Now the installation has been started. It generally takes 30 to 40 minutes to complete the setup. We are going to speed it up during this installation procedure. Let's enter to accept and complete the installation. Now it is asking for to us to set up a new admin password. This password will be used on console so let's enter the password now the admin password is set now let's go back to community edition page click on this flash notice it will take you to this page from here we are going to apply the fix which is related to license let's copy this command and put it into the ss station and click enter it will take around five minutes to accept these changes. Now let's go to your favorite browser and log in to GUI console. We are going to use IP address 127.0.0.18444. The credential we are going to use is admin and the password which we set are here. This again prompted us for license agreement. Let's go ahead and accept it. Now we are inside the GUI. Now let's go to log activity tab. We could see the system events are coming fine. That means our QRadar is set. Now you can go ahead and explore the QRadar community edition. For further help, you can go to get started guide link and go through all these modules. Best of luck.